Hey besties, thank you for tuning in to my channel. My name is Keisha and I am delighted to have you here. Today, I have a special treat for you all. I will be budgeting with 23-year-old college student, Sasha. This is part one of her budget revamp. We're gonna get her budget together because right now she don't have one. So if this is something you're interested in, keep watching. Oh, Sasha, I am so excited that you decided that you want to jumpstart your budget. Um, I know that you are a young college student. You are living on your own, doing big things. So what, what are you using now for your budget? Like what, what you got going on now? Um, I'm not really using anything for my budget. I'm honestly just winging it. You are just winging it. Do you have any systems in place? Well, um, I bought a book, uh, a home finance and bill organizer. Just haven't started using it yet. Oh, can we flip through and see what it has in it? It's empty, but oh. it's here. <laughs> <laughs> this is some real stuff, y'all. Real stuff. She hasn't been using it. It has its planners. It's by the month, which she can write down. This is neat. So this is definitely something you can implement. It's by, by the month, and this is the month. Oh, it's January, and it's January. Mm -hmm. So what a good time to start using it. Right. So how long, I'm going to be honest, tra tell the truth, shame the devil. How long have you been using this? Or oh, have, not using it, had, had it? Well, my sister bought it, so. So you had it for how many weeks or months? Well, I just noticed it like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so you just noticed it two days ago. Yeah. So this is neat. So you write, you can write down your income. Um, your bills, the dates, and then I, I will assume that this little pocket here, you can put your, your bill statements in or whatever. Mm -hmm. So this is neat. This is definitely be something good that a, 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 someone new to budgeting can use. Okay. So let's definitely hold that and keep that in mind. Okay. So another question, what do you want to improve in your budget? I know you said you want to start a type of system. Anything else? Um, I mean, I definitely want to improve it so I can start to cushion my, well, have a better cushion to use um, for when emergencies come up for my pets or for myself, so. Okay, 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 okay. So that sounds like you may want to get your budget together and save some money and possibly start some sinking funds. You know what sinking funds are? Not really. Well, <laughs> well, we'll talk about that. Well, well let's, let's just get you down to the basics, to the basics, to the basics, okay. But would you be open to starting a new system and learning about sinking funds and possibly some different ways to save your money? Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we are going to, now see you have your budget here. Yes. All right, well, your, your, your expenses. Yep, all of my, all of my bills. All right, all right, I see you have your bills here. So we have rent, is 250 credit cards is 25 a month and then she also has her dates so the good thing is you have them so you have been doing something you just don't think it is but you have them written down you may not be where you want to be but this is a start because some people they just pulling things out the envelope and trying to pay them and not even writing stuff down so kudos to you good start phone 200 dollars a month um that's like cell phone. Yes. Okay. Car insurance two fifty six. Car payment one sixty three. Lights eight to eighty two hundred. Of course, that varies. Internet fifty four ninety nine. And then we have water thirty to fifty dollars a month. Okay. And then she had, look look y'all has our little due dates. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So, have you ever heard of? And thank you for sharing. Have you ever heard of variable expenses as well as fixed expenses? Do you know what those mean? Not really, no. Okay, so we're gonna make a chart. We're gonna make a T-chart. You know I'm a teacher. <laughs> I'm all about T-charts. Okay, so we're gonna have variable expenses on one side. And y'all know, even though I'm a teacher, I teach reading and writing and normally, English teachers are the worst when it comes to handwriting, and that holds true for me. So I'm gonna do the best I can. 
<laughs> okay. Variable expenses and fixed expenses. Now, variable expenses, and I noticed that you had varies in two spots. Mm -hmm. So, you kind of know, but you didn't probably really know exactly, but you knew that they varied. Yeah. Okay? Because they go up and down. So, so out of your expenses... Let's, let's probably do the fix first. The fixed expenses, those are expenses that you know, boom, no matter what happens, that's that amount for the month. Kind of like my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fixed for the most part. I wish it would just go up some more, but anyway, it never changes. Every blue moon, but it's not different every month, so I definitely can count on it, so that is a good thing sometimes. Okay, so what are your fixed expenses? Uh, my rent is two fifty. Okay, we have rent for two fifty. Um, I have my phone bill, which is two hundred. Okay, phone. My car insurance is two fifty six. Car insurance, two fifty six. My car payment is one sixty three. Car payment, one sixty three. And my internet is fifty four ninety nine. Internet. It's how much? $54.99. $54.99. All right. So those are all those are all your fixed expenses. Mm -hmm. Can you calculate that for me? Yes. Let's see how much all that is. All right. So her fixed expenses are $923.99. Thank you, Sasha. Okay, now let's look at our variable expenses. These are the expenses that fluctuate. They vary. They go up and down. They're not the same every month. So what do we have? So we have my lights, which okay. vary between like $80 to $100 a month. So that's probably 80 to 100 a month. Mm -hmm. And then my water is 30 to 50 dollars a month. 30 to 50 dollars a month. And question, would I consider like my credit cards as like a variable expense? Because sometimes I would put down like, you know, 40. Well, mm, well, they, they have a, I would say what you pay can vary, but what they want, well, that can vary too. So maybe we could, because sometimes it depends on how much you have on there because you can add more and then it may go up. So we could say that. We'll just we'll just put that. So I was saying like my credit cards would be like a minimum of 25 up to 50. Okay, so we'll do 25 to 50 a month. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else in regards to bills? Um, other than gas. Okay, that is a variable expense. Let's put that down because mm -hmm. you do have to get around. Yes. So how much do you think you, you do for gas a month? A month um or think think about a week first and it would just multiply a week times is about four twenty dollars twenty five dollars a week so let's say a hundred dollars a month for gas around a hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. gone long gone are the days where i spent that <laughs> <laughs> oh man i remember i could just put that hot 20 in that honda civic i had oh yes not anymore not anymore. Okay, so gas. So I mentioned you mentioned earlier that you have pets. How much do you think you spend on pets a month? Because I know that well, these are your basics. So let's just get down and see. We're gonna do a box. Um or four boxes. So these are your main things that have to get paid no matter what. No matter what, I don't care what's going on, no matter what. But I know your pets are very important. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your pets. How many pets do you have? I have two pets. I have one cat and one dog. So you have a cat and a dog. You have cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> cat dog. Okay, you, and I know you love your pets. So let's put that here. So for your pets, I know you got to get food. Um, and for a cat, you got to get cat litter. Um, because I've had a cat before. You have to take them to the vet. Sometimes I have to get medication. Um, so on average, a month, including food and cat litter, 
those things. How much do you think you spend a month month on your pets? So on like a regular month without any vet visits, it'll be around, let's see. Um, let's see, well think about a week. Well, I'm thinking like maybe like a two week basis because that's just about as often as I have to go to the store for them. Okay. So it'll be around. Like every two weeks you go and buy food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the both of them, that's looking at maybe around like $60 every two weeks. Okay. Maybe not 60 maybe like $50 every two weeks. Okay. So let's say about $100 a month for litter and food. Yes. Okay. So that's about $100. Litter and food, that's about $100 a month. Okay. Um, anything else that you have to? There's one here. But that's your roommate's cat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kitty. Um, so, anything else? Any other expenses that you have? Like, think about your, your personal, you know, getting your hair done, nails done, clothing. Um... Anything else you spend? Do you do your hair? You may do your hair at home because a lot of people do their own hair. Um, well, I definitely do my hair at home. I do okay. my own hair. So you don't have to worry about that. That's good. That's um, good. But if I do have to buy like hair products, I do usually buy them like on like a every month, every other month basis. Um, so that would be around sixty dollars every other month on hair products. Okay. So we'll do we'll we'll do this. We'll average like maybe thirty dollars a month. Okay, so hair products thirty dollars a month. About thirty dollars a month. Okay, what about groceries? Uh, groceries are looking I'll just at put that over here. Maybe on average, uh, I try to do at least like a hundred dollars every two weeks. Okay, so that's two hundred dollars a month of groceries. Okay, so 200 on groceries. Let's see, what are some other things you can think about? Because we got gas, we got groceries, um, got your pets, hair products. What about fun? Going out, spending time with your friends. You spend money, money like that. How much do you think you spend on average Having fun, cause you, you gotta have some fun. You a young person, I know you. When I was your age, girl, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I know. What are you? What are you doing for fun? Or you do cheap fun? Cause cheap fun is always good fun. But how much do you think you spend on having fun? Mm. I don't know. Like I really have fun. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe going to the movies. Um. I haven't done that in forever, so. Cause now you can stream everything. Yes, so. Um, so streaming, streaming services. Do you have any streaming services that you have to pay for? No. Okay, so that's so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I guess if we're like going out to eat or something, maybe about like forty dollars a month. Okay, so we'll be say fun eating out four dollars a month. Okay, so that does that include like. Regular eating out like you because I know I, I'm on the struggle bus with that. Like you just driving through, I'm going to get something to eat and come on home. Do you spend a lot of money eating out? Is that included in the fun, like with friends or? No, if I were to do like the eating out, it would probably be around like $30. Okay. So eating out. Yes. Enjoy this now because when you get kids. That'll be one visit. <laughs> Thirty dollars. Okay. So, anything else? So do you think this pretty much covers covers everything? Oh, we didn't calculate. Um, let's calculate your your variable expenses. So, do I do like the highest amount? Yes. Not put. I got a little. Make that five hundred. Yeah. Just do one hundred fifty. I got did the same thing over here. I did the 100 plus 50 plus 50, and that's 300. Okay. So that's a total of $300 a month. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, then we have the, so just add, add all these together and we'll see. Pets 100, hair 30, and do these two. Let's see what we got. And that's 400. So all of these will be 400. Okay, so we have variable expenses 300, fixed expenses 923.90. And we have additional expenses $400. So let's see what the grand total, what, what is the grand total? All right, so we have 923.99 plus 300 plus 400. Yikes. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a lot. That is a lot for a young person. Now, when I was going through, thank you. When I was going through my debt-free journey, one thing that I did do, I know you're not ready for that. We're just doing the basics today, but we can talk about that at a later date. Mm -hmm. I went through my bills and I decided what I was going to cut out. Um, and once I did that, I was able to cut out like $190 a month. Because I had gym memberships, I had this, I had that. I'm like, I don't need all that. So that can be something we could discuss at a later date. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how much do you, let's talk about your income. And then we'll plot, plot everything out and figure out how everything is going to fall. Because one thing that's important is to schedule your your due dates and everything. Do you have a calendar? You you, you keep them on your phone? Yes. Okay, you keep them on your phone, good. Okay, because you know, I'm old school. I put things on a big calendar I have on my wall because I want to be able to sit on my bed and look to the right, scan through every day to see what's coming up. Um, because those alerts, girl, they get mixed up in with all those other notifications mm -hmm. and it just doesn't work out for me. I'll be getting a phone call saying your light's about to get cut off. But anyway, so, so what, what would you say your take home income would be for the month? That was part one of Sasha's budget revamp. Stay tuned. Part two is coming where we are going to organize her budgeting weeks, week one, week two, week three, week four and allocate her money accordingly because she has been off track with her budget. She has been behind on bills, but we are going to get Sasha together. So stay tuned, part two, next week. And remember, sis, take care of your money and your money take care of you, and you are enough. Love you.